I'm Brian Burt. I'm with the Division of General Thoracic Surgery, Baylor College of Medicine. Baylor is really an outstanding clinical and academic institution. Uh, in the clinics, uh, we are a center of excellence for nearly all aspects of patient care. In our division of general thoracic surgery, uh, we take care of disorders of the chest. Uh, and these are cancers, either lung cancer, esophageal cancer, or cancers of the mediastinum, which is the middle of the chest. Uh, we also take care of reflux disease, which is this disorder of the esophagus, and any disorder of the chest wall, including thoracic outlet syndrome. Uh, this is a disorder in which the nerves, artery, or vein uh, are compressed as they leave the chest and go to the arm. And the typical site of compression is at the first rib where it meets the scaling muscles of the neck, so the muscles that attach the neck to the first rib. Uh, and these patients will present with a number of different symptoms, including pain. I think one unique uh, part of our thoracic outlet syndrome clinic here at Baylor is uh, the multidisciplinary care aspect of uh, patient care. Uh, and by that I mean uh, when a patient comes to see us with thoracic outlet syndrome, uh, they meet uh, at least two physicians. Uh, and uh, one of them is myself as a surgeon, and one of them is a physical medicine and rehabilitation doctor. And what that means, uh, he is a medical doctor who's a musculoskeletal specialist. Uh, we come up with a uh, combined plan. If necessary, studies are needed or necessary consultations with expert physicians are needed, we come up with that plan together and we expedite that care for the patient uh, in that manner.